Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Laxalt and welcome to a random one-off episode. So in my last video, you might have seen in this bamboo farm that there was a random stone box over here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this and what it is. So actually, believe it or not, this small stone cube is actually a creeper farm. And not just any creep farm, a really efficient creeper farm that made about 11 stacks per hour on a server that has a mob cap of four, and without a mob cap on just normal vanilla, it's closer to 18 stacks per hour, and it's incredibly efficient. And basically, it was a good farm design, but it doesn't work anymore because now that 1.16 is out, nothing can spawn on wither roses except for wither skeletons. So that's why this farm is no longer usable or a good farm to make. But if you happen to be at 1.15 and you want a good farm, I would definitely recommend building this, especially if you stack them or build multiple of them because it'll be incredibly efficient. And also, since this is just a one-off video, I'm not going to be showing exactly how to make it and how exactly how many items you need because there's really no need to be making this anymore since almost everyone nowadays is in the 1.16 update. And since it destroys this farm and you can no longer make it, it doesn't have to be a full tutorial because no one's going to make this. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is place down a double chest like this. And if you want, you can add more storage like I did over there just by extending it with hoppers by going down one more like that breaking the two blocks behind it, sneaking around here, hitting the back of that with the hopper, and one on the back of there. And you can expand this as much as you need for storage, or you can make a full actual storage system that's more professional than this, but this works for this. Okay, next you wanna place two hoppers in the back like that, and then go back 20 blocks on both of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, like that. And I think, oh, no, I want, I want one too far, like this. And then you want to fill all of these in, 10 back, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that. Uh, no, 9 back. <laughs> I forgot you put the 2 in there. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll be two blocks out. So pretty much to water that down, you need to fill an entire chunk with hoppers all leading into the middle row like that, and then two more blocks. So it'll always be to here. So you'll have a total of a 20 by 20 area, or so you're going to need 402, exactly, 402 hoppers. And then on top of that, 400 soul sand, and for a brown 400 actually with the roses and 36 white carpets. I don't know. I said I wouldn't put the numbers, but I did. Whatever. Uh, I'll be back when I'm done putting in all of the hoppers. Also, by the way, I didn't say this earlier, but I did not come up with this farm design. I got it from someone on the server I'm playing. His name is Flashes2016. This is an incredibly, incredibly efficient farm design for the server that I'm on because they have a because they have a low mob cap and anything where it's got few spawning spaces and a really quick killing me killing mechanism like this farm it's going to be incredibly efficient so i just want to say get it out of the way i did not make this farm flashes did and yeah i don't take credit for things that i don't make all right so i just need to put in this last row and then that will be all of the hoppers and by the way just to say it i don't know if i did but you place down the two hoppers with the chest and then you start it behind it because you're going to be covering all of this in stone like this. So you want to build one behind the two hoppers that you have leading into the chest so that you can actually fit everything in the farm. Okay, but anyway, after you've put down all of the hoppers, do the same thing again except with some kind of block that is not a full block, but you can also put a wither rose on. I'm pretty sure you can use farmland, but I just use soul sand because... The creator of a farm uses soul sand, and he recommended it. Um, and also because it slows down the creepers, which is good, because then they don't walk around as much, which could slow it down, I think. Um, so yeah, soul sand, and then you're going to put with the roses on top of all of those. Okay, after you've put down all of the soul sand and all of the wither roses, what you want to do is spider-proof it. So a spider can spawn in any area that's at least one block tall and at least a th two, three by three area. So go to every area like this where there would be a three by three and put one down and then skip two, put break the rows and put that down, skip two, break the rows and put that down and repeat this pattern all the way around the area and whoops, okay. 
um, <laughs> like that, and that, and there, and repeat this, and just continue it the whole way through, like this, and down, like that, all the way around the entire area. Okay, now that you have all of the carpets down, that's pretty much all of the farm, except for the walls, the ceiling, and the trapdoors, because that's more or less just spawn-proofing it and making sure that the only things that can spawn are creepers. So go all the way around like this and build a wall that goes up, so to the soul sand, up two more blocks, and then up once more like that, and then you can cover this again in half slabs if you want. I didn't because it's a creative server and it won't affect the rates. But you want to go one block up, and then if you're in a survival, and for some reason building this, even though it doesn't work, um, you'd want to cover this in half slabs so that nothing can spawn on top of blocks like this. And pretty much just go all the way around here and then put the roof on it, and that's <laughs> the next step. This is a pretty simple build, and that's why I like it, because it's incredibly efficient, and it was a really simple build. All right, almost done with the roof here, and then oh, I think I missed a spot over there. Um, there, oops, not in control of my mouse today, okay, <laughs> fill in the roof like that, okay, and then that's all of the box for the spawning done, and pretty much after this, actually not pretty much after this, the only thing you need to do after this is place the trap doors for several reasons, first of all, so that bats can't spawn, because that's really annoying, and I have absolutely no idea what's going on with the lighting right now, because the block light says three, and everything is zero, and everything says zero, but for some reason it's there's light right here or something, and I have no idea why. Probably just a bug, and if I logged off and back on, it would fix it. Oh, actually, I think I know what it is. Something to do with the chunk, because the chunk, all of this entire chunk is in dark light, and then it's all funky on the border between the two chunks. I think that's what it is. Okay, um, I'll log back on and put it and fix that later. But pretty much the next step after that and this is the last step, actually, is to put in oak trapdoors or whatever trapdoor that you want on top of the ceiling like this, because after you do that, only creepers can spawn. And when that's done, the farm is finished, and that's, that's it. Okay, I'm just putting in the last couple trapdoors. Okay, that's the first time that's happened in the entire time that I'm doing it, and it doesn't happen until I start recording. Okay, that, that hurts. And that's all the trapdoors, and after this, if we just put in these last couple stones, then that's it. That's the farm done. And this actually looks pretty cool when you have two of them next to each other. Uh, realistically, if you want to improve the efficiency of this and you're not on a server with four as a mob cap, uh, you could probably stack these up or build mo more of them together like this. I'd, pr I'd probably build four of them. Uh, but it does. it is done now, and it will work. And if I just clear all of the wither roses from here... That I'm not 100% sure how they got there. Sometime during the construction. Oh, yeah, I remember. I used a fill command to fill in all the wither roses, and I put them on the same Y as the soul sand, and it didn't work. Um, but that's it, and it should be working now. And wait, cool. That, that one's been pumping the whole time I've been building this one, so it's still going. But that is it for this creeper farm, and you can see it's already producing. And like I said, it should be doing 16, 17, 18 stacks per hour. I... I'm not 100% sure. I suppose I could check. Actually, I will in a minute. But that's pretty much all you need to make this farm. And um, I really hope that you enjoyed this one-off video because uh, I liked this making this, actually. It was pretty fun because this was a fun farm to make, and I would have recommended making this in 1.15. But I really got hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you want to, you could subscribe or like the video because it really means a lot. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.